Parable of the Sower is an Octavia E. Butler book. It's a post-apocalyptic sci-fi fantasy. Now, I mistakenly thought that my friend's favorite author was Octavia E. Butler. She actually meant Ursula K. Le Guin. But I guess Octavia E. Butler is so popular, I keep seeing her on BookTube and, you know, lists of best sci-fi stuff. Also, I think Parable of the Sower was on my sci-fi list anyway. So this book is about Lauren. She It's a coming-of-age story about her living in a gated community of 11 houses. Um, not gated, actually. It's walled because she's sort of living in a very unstable sort of world. It's in the near future of 2024, I believe. And um, you have to pay the police for them to show up and they only show up after crimes are done. And most of the conflict comes from raiders who come by and they, they jump over the wall and they steal from the, from the houses. And everyone lives in harmony, uh, except that they don't have guns. Sometimes they're, they're very lax. And uh, Lauren she gets it in her head that, you know, we need to be prepared for any and all emergencies. And when she tries to, like, you know, bring it up to her very puritanical father, who's the preacher, um, he, he's able, he agrees, I, I guess, in some part, but he also doesn't want to panic the community. So they also got Corey, her stepmother. She's got multiple siblings, troublemaker Keith and uh, a few other brothers. But mainly we're focusing on... Uh, journal entries from 2024 to uh, 2027 and we're sort of focusing on that um, the book is fucking depressing let's just be honest I mean it reminded me of the road but on steroids because after the shit hits the fan the uh, the book gets very repetitive you know it's mainly about Lauren trying to survive meeting other survivors teaming up with them you know deciding what to eat what to do what to buy coming across someone trying to attack them, fighting back, killing them or not killing them. Uh, the, the book is only interesting when they're talking about the moral quandaries of, you know, is it okay to fight and kill for survival or if it's okay to help others. And I guess one of the big overarching themes is if Lauren is going to stay hard or is she going to, you know, soften up and try to help people, I guess. But that's not really explored that much. In fact, uh, I, I just really didn't like this book. I mean, it has no romantic qualms about living in a post-apocalyptic society. Honestly, if if civilization did fall and crumble, that's pretty much what would happen. Everyone would go around uh, assaulting each other, sexually assaulting each other, cannibalism, just like uh, no moral compasses. It's just everyone trying to kill everyone, to eat everything, and uh, basically no if, ands, or buts in between, but the book just doesn't really have anything else to offer except some rich themes of social divide. There's some uh, fictional cities that uh, have a way of uh, indenturing people into slavery, essentially. They'll give you food, uh, room and board, but you have to pay for the food, and then they basically keep you as a working prisoner. And if you try to escape, it'll just uh, fall onto your family or your loved ones until you return. Um, there's also, you know, the police being ineffective. That's something that's really pressed upon in the book. Uh, there's a few other themes in there about, like, religion, because Lauren has a... She's a sharer. She's, like, an emotional telepath that can um, feels the pain of others. So she's a liability. And it's not something that's too explored. And Tavia E. Butler also wanted to write, like, six of these books, but she only was able to write two because of writer's block. So um, I won't be continuing this series. Um, you know, it's a good book, but I just, I didn't like it. So I give uh, Parable of the Sower a two out of five.